Greetings and welcome to part two of the Scratch Build a Vintage Amp video series. In this chapter we'll do a review of the schematic of the Supro 6422 amp and then discuss in detail what changes I propose to improve the circuit. So step one then uh, will be to download a good schematic of the amp of choice. Let's take a look at this one for the uh, Supro 6422RT. As we saw in the pictures of the real amplifier, there were three inputs. Here is that treble input with the 0.001 microfarad cap, which will uh, effectively block a lot of bass. So this will be the treble input. These will be the two uh, supposedly regular inputs with 100K resistors on each. That will be fed in here to the first triode of the first uh, 12AX7 or V1. Now let's just take a quick look at the circuit if there is no tremolo or reverb in effect. We'll leave the plate of the first 12AX7, come over here to a volume control, drop down to a tone control, into the second stage of the uh, 12AX7. It's a different tube, but it's the second triode. And then on through a coupling capacitor into the 6V6, where it will drive the output transformer and the speaker. So in effect, this is very much like a Fender Champ circuit in which two triodes of a 12AX7 drive a 6V6 in a single output mode uh, through, uh, in the Champ's case, an 8-inch speaker, in this case, a 10-inch speaker. Let's take a look at the tremolo section, which is drawn independently of the rest of the schematic. Down here we have the normal uh, phase shifting uh, type of oscillation loop uh, using a 12AX7 as the oscillator tube. We come off here for our speed control. We feed this into another triode of uh, a 12AX7 uh, to boost it and then we send it out here through wire C and as you can see up here C picks up and then goes right into the cathode of the very first preamp 12AX7. Okay now let's look at a proposed change for the tremolo circuit. As we see here it has a 500k pot for speed control and over here it has the foot switch for remote on off but there is no uh, intensity control so what I'm going to do is insert one in this line the C line here that runs up to the cathode of the first 12AX7 now for the tremolo intensity control I envision something very simple like this I'm going to take that C output from the tremolo 12AX7 cathode and run it into either a 1 meg or a 500k pot. I'll have to do a little experimentation to see what value works best. The other end of the pot will be grounded. Now here's how it's going to work. When the wiper is up here at the top, there'll be no resistance between the cathodes, so you'll end up with absolutely maximum tremolo intensity. It will be as if the pot were not even present in the circuit. However, when I crank the uh, wiper all the way down here to the bottom, then we're going to have a great deal of resistance uh, between the cathodes. Also, the signal uh, may choose just to go to ground rather than come up here to the second cathode. This will effectively shut off the uh, tremolo intensity. Uh, and, as you can see, anything in between, you'll have 50%. 75%, uh, 100%. So it will be variable. Up here on the inputs, I'm not going to have the treble input. I see no need for that. Uh, I'm going to have two separate inputs and I might uh, vary the impedance, maybe 100K and 500K, something like that. So I'd have a high and low impedance input. Now let's take a look at the uh, circuit if the reverb is used. Uh, we said that when we were running with non-reverb, we would come down here and go to the uh, 12AX7 and then to the 6V6. 
But if the reverb is activated, we're going to come in here to a 12AX7 and then enter the reverb circuit, which I have uh, drawn a red dotted line around. Here is the uh, transformer that drives the reverb tank. Here is that crazy little uh, reverb tank that's in the cardboard box. Also, notice that they drive the reverb with a 12AX7 triode. So, I see two problems with this. 12AX7s are not real good at driving reverb tanks, and strange little 6-inch or 7-inch reverb tanks and cardboard boxes are probably not the hot setup for our tremor verb. So here's my solution to the rather weak reverb of the Supro Tremor Verb, and that is I'm going to graft in the best reverb I know of, and that is the complete reverb circuit and tank from a Fender Twin Reverb. Instead of the single triode of a 12AX7, we're going to use uh, both triodes of a 12AT7 to drive a 125A20B uh, reverb driver transformer. We're going to use the 4AB3C1B reverb tank. It's a 17 inch tank. And then uh, for recovery, we're going to use uh, one of the triodes of a 12AX7. The reason that 12AT7s uh, make much better reverb drivers is they are a rather high current tube. The plate current on a 12AT7 is about 10 milliamps, as opposed to 1.2 milliamps for a relatively puny 12AX7. Uh, we all know that 12AX7s have really high amplification factors. Uh, the 12AT7 is no slouch, it's around 70% of the 12AX7, but it does a much better job of driving this transformer and this tank. Uh, I am not sure what type of uh, driver transformer was used on the Supro, but this one uh, we know works well with Fender reverb, so I'm going to use the regular Fender uh, reverb driver transformer. And then for the tank, uh, I have no idea what's in the little cardboard box, but putting in a 17-inch Accutronics or Mod uh, tank uh, is going to have to make a huge difference and the reverb that we're going to get out of this amp. So, there you have it. Uh, this is going to be uh, wired in, spliced in, if you will, into the circuit of the Supro Tremo Verb uh, and should contribute to a tremendous improvement in the reverb um, that we get from this amp. One of the real advantages of scratch building any amplifier is you're not restoring a valuable or rare vintage amp. So you're not locked in to preserving originality. When you're scratch building um, an amplifier in the style of an original vintage amp, you're free to make changes like this without committing any blasphemies or destroying the collectability or value of a real vintage amp. Now, a couple other changes uh, that are going to be necessary. One is uh, that I would like to be able to substitute a 6L6 instead of a 6V6 for the output tube. 6L6, as you know, is going to put out a whole lot more power. To do that, however, I will probably uh, have to upgrade the output transformer, and I intend to do that. A 5 watt output transformer would probably not do well with a 6L6 uh, output tube. And also, I might want to upgrade the speaker a bit. So here's my plan. I'm going to substitute a vintage 12-inch C12Q speaker in place of the 10-inch C10R speaker. The C12Q is a 35-watt speaker, which should be able to cope with a single 6L6 with no problem. Uh, remember the C10R original speaker was 25-watt, which probably could still handle it, but I'm sort of a fan of 12-inch speakers, so we're going to go with a larger speaker and a stouter output transformer. Now, since I want to be able to simply remove the 6V6 and plug in a 6L6, I'm going to uh, have to design some sort of a selectable bias resistor uh, circuit uh, for the tube socket. And what I envision is something like this. 
where uh, we have here the cathode of the either 6V6 or 6L6 will come out and the switch can go either from here or it can be switched over to here. And in this position, it is the appropriate bias resistor for a 6L6. Switch it over here and I'll have the 6V6 bias resistor value. And I'll also have a cathode bypass cap uh, which uh, will increase the gain and also the base response uh, of the output circuit. So now to summarize the proposed alterations, let's go through them. Number one, we're going to substitute a vintage, and it's from around 1965, I think, so it'd be very appropriate, a C12Q 35-watt uh, speaker for the 10-inch uh, Jensen C10R speaker that was originally used in the amplifier. Uh, I'm going to add a tremolo intensity control, which is a, in effect a volume control for the tremolo uh, and will regulate how much of the signal from the tremolo circuit is sent to that cathode of the first 12AX7 triode. Next, I'll reduce the number of inputs to two, say high and low impedance, and get rid of that uh, treble input. Uh, number four, uh, I'm going to replace the original reverb circuit with a complete Fender twin reverb circuit with a 17-inch tank. And finally, I'm going to add a variable bias switch to permit the use of either a 6L6 or a 6V6 as the output tube. And I uh, feel that this is going to require some sort of output transformer upgrade uh, with a greater than 5 watt uh, capability. So I hope my proposed alterations all make sense and they seem logical. Um, and as I said before, I'm not really desecrating some rare vintage amp with these alterations. I'm building one from scratch and what I'm doing is adding features and uh, changing some of its characteristics to actually make it, I think, a whole lot better than it was originally. And to me, this is one of the prime benefits of scratch building any amplifier, is that it gives you like a blank canvas uh, in which you can add certain embellishments that you think would improve an existing circuit. Well, thanks so much for joining us for this second uh, in our video series. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you'll stay tuned for Chapter 3, in which we will create a parts list to order all the needed parts for our uh, amp build. And also we'll discuss how to select transformers and what sort of cost you can expect if you want to try to build an amp like this yourself. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in Chapter 3. Looks like Jack is in his hiding place. That or he's masquerading as a turtle. Let's see if we can't display his fabulous uh, skills at retrieving. Are you ready, Jack? Okay, here's his favorite toy. You ready, Jack? Go get it, boy. There it is, Jack. Go get it. Ugh. Well, now he's back in his hiding place. Jack, are you ready for a second try? I know that was just stage fright. You ready? I'm going to throw your toy. Here it goes. What? Are you ready, Jack? Ready? Get the toy. Well, don't just throw it on the floor. Bring it back. Jack. Jack. Why didn't you go get that toy, huh? You ready? You ready, Jack? Here it goes. I'm going to throw your toy. Whoa! Well, bring it back to Papa. Come on. Show everybody what a brilliant cat you are. Oh, Lord.